Lake Shasta has been making the news a lot lately. As California's largest man-made reservoir, Shasta Lake provides water for population centers from Redding to the Bay Area to Bakersfield, as well as the agricultural breadbasket that is the Central Valley. When precipitation levels are normal, it can hold about 4.5 million acre-feet of water, meaning it stores and supplies around 20% of the state's developed water. Sadly, its current level is 125 feet below capacity, meaning it is only at around 40% capacity. I made a video about Lake Shasta last year when it was really low, and I will link that in the description, but that was more about why it's terrible that the reservoir got that low. This video will have two parts, how climate change affects the reservoir and the surrounding environment, and how this glass half-empty reservoir affects California. Also, all of these photos were taken almost exactly a year ago, but the height of the water level in these photos is close to the height that it is now. So, firstly, what impact does the emptying of the reservoir have on California? Since this reservoir feeds so many people and so much agricultural land, people are being forced to use a lot less water. Cities are being asked to severely limit water usage from Shasta to health and safety needs only, and experts anticipate that this year, over 350,000 acres of farmland will be followed in the Sacramento Valley alone, since only senior water rights holders will be able to get the reservoir's water. Also, it's important to remember that Shasta's hydropower dam produces enough energy to power between 355,000 and 710,000 homes, depending on demand. While Shasta Lake is not low enough for the loss of power production to be a big concern, it is a possibility. Lake Oroville's hydropower had to be shut off last year because the water level was too low, and Lake Mead is dangerously close, so it is only logical to think it could happen to Shasta as well if trends continue. Next, how is climate change affecting Lake Shasta and the surrounding forest? The most obvious impact climate change is having is the amount of water in the area. California endured its driest start to the year since the late 19th century, and it has experienced a barrage of deep droughts over the last 20 years, meaning the state is in the most severe mega drought in 1,200 years. Low precipitation levels are disastrous for the ecosystem surrounding the dam. The forest was horribly damaged when flooded to create the reservoir, and the remaining fragmented area is now imperiled by these droughts. Water is vital for the many ecosystems of the forest, and without it, the plants and animals of Shasta Trinity National Forest are in grave danger. Another side effect of high temperatures and low water levels is that the water in the reservoir is heating up. The Sacramento River, which is the river that was dammed to create Shasta Lake, is a cold water river. As the water warms, these cold water ecosystems will decline, damaging fish stocks on either side of the dam. Many of these fish, including the Chinook salmon, are already endangered due to overfishing and the construction of the dam, and warming waters could cause their local extinction. As temperatures rise, plants and animals' habitats will not be suitable anymore, so many will not survive and whole species could suffer. Ecosystems are not adapted to long periods of high temperatures, so they will struggle to get through them. These high temperatures and long, dry summers are also making fires in the area more frequent, larger, and more ferocious, as well as lengthening the annual fire season. While fires can be good because they burn the undergrowth and clear up forests, if they become too frequent, many plants never have a chance to regrow. The area around Chasta Trinity National Forest is following this trend, as it has seen progressively larger wildfires, more extreme fire behavior, and a lengthened fire season. Last summer, less than 50 miles away, the Dixie Fire burned almost a million acres. Fires like these can cause severe erosion, damaging local ecosystems and degrading water quality. Extreme weather will also become a lot more common in the forest, and the freak downpours and floods will ravage the remaining plant communities and further worsen erosion. While the amount and size of storms will decline with the progression of climate change, extreme rain and snowstorms that would historically break records will occur much more often. Huge floods could damage the plants beyond repair and drown out any remaining wildlife. Rising temperatures will also cause a loss of water, ice, and snow. In Shasta Trinity National Forest, among other places, rain and snow are becoming less and less frequent as climate change progresses. 
Snow is important because it reflects sunlight, keeping the area cool. The less snow there is, the less cooling happens, which in turn makes it snow less. This cycle could lead to disastrous problems here and around the world. There has also been increased tree death across the national forest. These plants are suffering from not only extreme heat, but also increased beetle infections, as the beetles can make it higher into the mountains with warmer temperatures. A range of insects have all had detrimental effects on the ecosystems of the forest, and their presence is only increasing. Climate change is threatening the health of Lake Shasta and the surrounding ecosystems, thus threatening the health of California. Without swift climate action, these problems will continue to worsen. Again, Lake Shasta is not alone. Lake Oroville, California's second largest reservoir, is at around 55% capacity, and Lakes Mead and Powell, which are vital to the southwest, are at around 25% capacity. We need to stop climate change if we want to stop the death of the West.